These products that you see here take a real team effort to develop. It requires a lot of people to come to the final product that you see displayed here. We need, first and foremost, the sailors to give us input to what they need. We need the designers, the project managers. We need pattern making people to make sure we got the right fit. We need technicians to sew the product together and people to source the materials. So in order to come to this result is a real team effort. To get inspiration for the development of these buoyancy aids, we look in various directions. For example, we look into nature. Um, how does nature protect animals? For example, the armadillo, which has uh, specific plates on its spine to protect itself. Or we look outside our industry into, uh, for example, motorcycling world. How do they protect motorbikers on, on the road? For the look and the feel of the product, we wanted to design something that is very ergonomically shaped. Uh, the sailors are traveling at high speeds, so you don't want anything sticking out or um, causing any drag on the boat. So we wanted a tight-fitting, uh, ergonomically shaped uh, product. Bermuda is a hot place to sail, so we wanted to make sure that the sailors did not overheat. So to do that, we've used an air mass technology fabric that allows a layer of air to travel between the product and the sailor to keep them cool during racing. Earlier on, we talked about inspirations that we found, for example, in nature. The things that we saw on the armadillo skin, we've also incorporated here in the side foam. As you see, the foam hinges just like an armadillo back. This allows the sailor to move freely. Other features include very low profile pockets across the buoyancy aid that the sailors can use for taking equipment that they think is essential to have on the boat. They also have a provision for carrying an emergency breathing system that is nicely hidden in a back pocket away from the front. Other features of the product include bright yellow shoulder panels so that the sailor is nice and visible when he's in the water and on board. A requirement by the rules, as we talked about before, is the need for the jacket to be able to don and doffed very rapidly. That means put it on and take it off as quickly as you want to. Other features inside the jacket is the specific use of materials such as the air mesh on the inside, which allows the layer of air to transfer between the body and the product, as well as breathable stretch material on the sides to keep the sailors nice and cool. As you see, there are many elements that make up this final America's Cup buoyancy aid. And for us designers, it's a challenge to meet the requirements on one end and to integrate all the requirements by the sailing team on the other end.